Welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wildlife specialist. As you know, on the show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the fluffy Kaya the Koala. Good to see you again, Kaya. You know, I spotted you coming from way back there and I immediately started to think about our animal of the day. Hi to all of you. Seems as if you've already picked the animal of the day, Grizzle. You are right about that. Thought about the animal, picked the animal, and now I'm ready to share the animal with you and all of our wildlife specialists with us today. We are ready. Let's hear it. Listen to this. The animal of the day is quite impressive. This spotted animal spends much of its time up in the trees and this animal can stay in one position for eight hours. Wow, stay in one position for eight hours? That sounds like my brother. He can sit in one position for eight hours playing his Xbox. It's not your brother, Kaya. Come on, friends, help me out. Does anyone know what the animal of the day is? Let's give everyone at home five seconds to guess. Then I'll tell you. Okay, ready? The animal of the day is the leopard. And by the way, is also known as a panther in some areas. I think having two names is starting to catch on. Seems like so many animals have two names. I'm gonna search for a second name for myself too. It's gonna take some time. I'll get back to you on that. Okay, Kaya, you do that. I'll be waiting right over here. In the meantime, let's get started with awesome info about the leopard. There are seven species of leopard that can be found in all parts of Africa and parts of Asia. Their appearance is a bit different from one another depending on which area of the world they live. A long time ago, my friend had a picture of a leopard on her wall, but I can't remember many details other than the leopard had many spots all over. You're right about that. They do have spots all over. Leopards are medium-sized wildcats. They have long and slender bodies and their legs are short and stocky. Their long tails help them balance very well when they're up in the trees, almost like a third leg. I am so glad we don't have any trees in our yard. I sure don't want to be sitting out there being worried about leopards looking down at me. Nothing to worry about, Kaya. We are nowhere near their habitat. But there's the question I hate to ask. Do leopards face any threats or dangers? You see, because they are such strong and smart animals, and because they usually don't go into other animals' territory or space to hunt, other leopards are pretty much their number one predator. I totally understand that. This is normal animal life out in the wild but I'm wondering about threats that are not natural. I'm sad to report that the primary threat to the leopard is human activity. And of course, there is always the danger from deforestation. The less trees and grasslands there are, the less food and homes for the leopard and for all animals. Also, these beautiful big cats have long been hunted for their soft fur. Their fur is used to make coats and ceremonial or celebration robes. The leopard's coat does not belong on humans. This is not acceptable. We wildlife specialists will never hurt or kill any animal for any reason, especially to just wear the animal on our bodies. We must get the word out. No time to waste. Tell us how we can help these beautiful leopards. Excellently said, Kaya. Animal cruelty will never be accepted. Knowledge is power. And that is why wildlife specialists must always inform our families and friends that brutality to animals is totally wrong. Help your friends to understand how improper it is to wear dead animals. Tell your parents not to buy fur clothes and ask them not to buy from companies that use animal fur for clothing. 
great ideas, Crystal. We wildlife specialists will get started on all of these points. We have to spread the word to everyone we know. We can post on social media all of this great information about leopards and how we can help them. I'm so excited. I love when you get all fired up and ready to go. Tell everyone never to buy a fur coat. We don't need their skin, they do. On it. And speaking of their skins and coats, can you tell us a bit more about this and about their spots that we mentioned at the beginning? Yes, of course. It's fun to be well informed about many features and qualities of the leopard. It's interesting that in the grasslands of leopard habitat, leopards have light yellow background coats and spots. In the forests of leopard habitat, leopards have darker color and more spots. And boy, do they have spots. Are the spots all the same? Yes. Leopards have spots all over their bodies, but these spots will look different depending on what part of the leopard's body they are located. For instance, spots that are dark and ring-like, called rosettes, are found on the leopard's tail and body. On the leopard's face and legs, the spots are more solid. All of these spots help the leopard to be able to camouflage themselves in many different surroundings. Camouflage. Does that mean something like hide or blend in? Good question, Kaya. Or should I say good answer? You are such a great wildlife specialist. Thanks. Don't tell my mom, but I usually camouflage my green peas under my napkin and straight into the garbage. Kaya, you shouldn't do that. Green peas are very healthy for us. Okay, I won't do it anymore. Besides, last time I accidentally camouflaged the peas into my mashed potatoes and they didn't taste all that bad. You are hilarious, but let's get back to our leopard. Leopards are really excellent climbers and like to spend most of their day resting up in a tree. They are nocturnal animals, which means they sleep during the day and they eat or hunt during the night. Oh, like bats. Bats are nocturnal too. Do you think that they meet at night and sneak around together? Not really, but it is fun to imagine that happening. Speaking of sneaky, listen to how sneaky the leopard really is. Instead of chasing their prey all around and getting super tired, the leopard will quietly sneak up behind the prey and get as close as possible without being noticed. And then when their prey least expects it, the leopard jumps out and catches its prey. Ah, you spooked me, Crystal. Don't do that. Sorry, sorry. But I couldn't pass that up. I admit it. Guy, it was kind of funny. Yeah, it was funny, Crystal. I must admit, it was actually kind of exciting. It almost felt like I was right there with the leopard, sneaking up behind the unknowing animal about to be lunch. Will the leopard sit and eat its prey right away, right there? The leopard will take his meal back to where the leopard usually rests and sits and eat for quite a long time. It is absolutely no problem at all for the leopard to carry his meal up to the tree and eat in peace. They are excellent climbers and have sharp, strong claws that are retractable, which means their claws can go in and out. Not like our fingernails and toenails, which just stay in one place. Not only can leopards eat in peace up in the trees, they can also save uneaten food for later, right up in their tree. That is cool. Well, I'm all about leftovers. I bet they have great hearing and sight to make sure that no one comes near their leftovers. Yes, of course. Their exceptional senses of hearing and sight are what help them to be outstanding predators. They will hunt medium-sized animals like deer and warthogs. When those animals are not found, then the leopard will hunt reptiles, rodents, even birds. The leopard can actually jump from the tree directly onto its prey. Now, that would surely frighten any animal to death. That is, if the leopard's powerful jump didn't do the job. Do leopards take time out of their busy sleeping schedule and hunting schedule to take care of their young? Or do they leave them to take care of themselves? Actually, leopard moms are super moms and take great care of their young. Female leopards can give birth to about two to six cubs, which weigh about one to one and a half pounds. That's about the weight of four big apples. And here's an interesting fact. The leopard cubs are born blind. Oh, really? If I remember correctly, bat cubs are born blind too. Don't tell me the leopard cubs stick to their mom for six months like the bat pups do. 
Not exactly, but kind of. Leopard cubs, which are born with dark fur and small spots, need extra care and protection from their mom until they're about six to eight months old, especially because they can be eaten by hyenas, snakes, birds of prey when their mother is out hunting. They drink their mother's milk for nourishment for about the first three months of their life. And then as they begin to see better and they're able to keep up with mom, they begin to follow her around and learn how to hunt and climb. Around 18 months of age, the mother leopard begins to encourage her not so small cubs to be independent. Then they are out on their own and have a chance to live for about 10 to 15 years. I love being a wildlife specialist. We are so lucky. We get to learn all about animals. And when we're with our family and friends, we have so much to share with them. This makes me so happy. I love sharing with all of the wildlife specialists. We are such a great team. We must never forget how important it is to take care of all animals. They were here before us. And when we arrived, they all shared their habitat with us. We have a responsibility to take care of our animals and our planet. Remember, it's up to us, the future generation, to make sure they have a place to live. Let's all work together to make sure animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. And now it's question time. Question time. Yeah. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we just learned to the test? I'm ready, spaghetti. True or false? Leopards are also known as cheetahs. The correct answer is false. They are also known as panthers. What is unique about the leopard cubs when they are first born? Is it A, they don't want to eat? B, they are blind. C, they talk too much. Or D, they run around. The correct answer is B. Leopard cubs are born blind and need extra care and protection from mom. What type of hunter is the leopard? Is it A, a lazy and cool hunter? B, a slow and weak hunter? C, a strong and smart hunter? Or D, a picky and smelly hunter? The correct answer is C, a strong and smart hunter. You guys did great! Kai and I have to go, but we'll be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. Bye guys! Bye! You guys look great today. See ya, see you next week. Bye bye.